Well, hey, 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 what is going on, everybody? And so welcome. Uh, this evening, guys, I'm going to be showing you how you can get the AT3 encode option to show up within Gold Wave. Uh, guys, this liter literally takes like five minutes. It's not hard to do whatsoever. Um, so if you have Gold Wave installed on your computer, you probably have the newer version, which is like 5.6 or something like that. That's what I had installed. And uh, if you do have that option to show up within that newer version, guys, please show, please tell us and show us how you did that. Because what I was told is that Go Wave 5.54 or older would only work. Okay. So if you want that option, you have Go Wave installed, but you can't get it to work, then you have to uninstall that newer version of Go Wave completely with all of its components, guys, and start fresh. Okay. Now there, there's rec there are two programs recommended to uninstall, and one of them was the Revo uninstaller, and the other one was the Geek uninstaller. Okay, so you can use one of those two. If you have your own program, guys, which works great, then feel free to use that. Okay. Once you've un uninstalled Go Wave, you want to come over here to this MediaFire site, guys, and download this file. This is the Go Wave 5.54 with all the AT3 files included all in one download so you don't have nothing to worry about okay once you've done uh, downloaded that guys and you got it all extracted you want to open the folder up here we'll go into it and we want to open up these instructions here all right let me make this a little big for you okay so um, just run something by you guys that these instructions are not from me it's from this guy right here on YouTube KM Zoilus, uh, pretty cool guy. Uh, looks, it sounds like he knows this stuff really well. He's helped me out a couple of times, and so uh, yeah, I would recommend looking him up. And so let's go go ahead with the instructions. Uh, as I mentioned before, as he's mentioned here, you need to uninstall other versions of Go Wave that you have. Okay, and he recommended the Geek or Revo uninstallers, like I mentioned earlier also. Okay. All right, so the first part of the instructions, uh, one and two right here, guys, if you're running a 64-bit machine, this, these, this is where we have to start, okay? If you're running a 32-bit machine, guys, you can skip steps one and two right here, all right? This is only for 64-bit users like myself. All right, so, that being said, after you've completely uninstalled Go Wave and everything, what you want to do, guys, is copy the ATRAC3.ACM file to Windows System While 64 folder. Okay? So, what you want to do is just copy this over, guys. Go to your C drive, your Windows folder right here, and then down to your uh, System While 64 folder here and simply paste it. I've already got it in there as you can see. Don't need to do it again. And so the next step guys, what's mentioned here is we need to run the something.reg file and then we'll have to reboot the computer. Um, now, well, this program right here, this Gold Wave guys, is meant to run on a 32-bit machine. Uh, so what this reg file does uh, as you mentioned here, what it does, it gives Windows the instructions that it needs to make it work on a 64-bit environment, okay? So what we need to do is double-click on that reg file. You hit yes, let it do its thing, guys, and then reboot your computer, okay? Once you reboot your computer, guys, then you can go back and you can install the GoWave 554, okay? <clears throat> Now, once you've done that, guys, once you've installed it, I'll show you. Let me bring it up real quick. <clears throat> okay. So, like he's mentioned here, guys, um, once you... Uh, ah, let me go up here. Let me move this over. When, once you install it, guys... You want to never, you want to never check for updates, okay? Never, never check for updates. And when, once you have it installed, you go up here to help. 
Then you go to about, and this is where you'll uh, you'll register it right here, guys. Make sure that this right here automatically check for updates option is unchecked. Okay, make sure that is unchecked. All right. So that being said, once you install it, guys, never check for updates. Once you open it, you go to help, and then you go. Uh, you go to about and then you pick register once you do that once you once you uh, get the uh, registry option open you want to come here open this up and here's your user ID and your license for the go away right here okay and as you can see that's that's it everything's done just simple as that guys now you can sample it you can Load up an MP3 file, guys, and then you can go to Save As, and then you select the wave type, and then you go down to Attributes and scroll all the way down, like I did on my past video, guys, and uh, you should have three options, three A track three options. Okay, and that's it. That is it. And then you can, I'll let you guys right here figure this out. Uh, it's not hard at all. But yeah, completely it guys. That's the tutorial. I uh, hope it helped you out. And uh, like I said, it's very, very easy. So uh, I'll leave you guys at that. And uh, <clears throat> have fun in coding, guys, with Gold Wave. Y'all have a good one. See ya.